Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. Today we're going to be having a play of Wife Material, a chamber with a title which will almost undoubtedly get me kicked off of Tumblr when I eventually, you know, post the promo clip for this video. But just in case this hasn't been cancelled and you are actually in fact watching it, this was made and recommended by Sunny OST. So a very, very big thank you to Sunny OST. Ah, I've just noticed how incredibly precariously perched that gigantic science sphere is up there. That could well come down. Yeah, this is a hammer map by the looks of it, and we do know that Sunny OST is very skilled at hammer wrecked aperture aesthetics. Uh, we learnt that from the fabulous blue map that we played not so long ago. Our uh, catwalk here is wrecked and broken, but we do have a bit we can land on there above the goo. And you'll also notice that we have what appears to be the incredibly aggressive variety of deadly deadly laser in this map. Now, I usually forget what the different fields in this game does, but uh, pretty damn certain that's insta-death, so let's not go through there. I mean, just the noise alone is, don't fucking touch me. Uh, we've got a button here that appears to be connected to this fizzler. We've got a cube delivery tube there. Well, it's the old kind. It's not really a tube. It's more of a rusty air duct. We've also got another one here, I've just noticed, with the old school smack you in the head logo. So, uh, through the fizzler, we've got a button here which connects to... Ah, that turns off the very aggressive Deadly Deadly lasers there. I always quite like this feature, the like broken ant lines connected by a cable. I don't know why, it's just a little detail that like it seems Valve themselves never thought to include. It looks really good and works so well, especially since that just sort of leads you to look over there anyway. Uh, we've got a panel there hanging in the middle of the room above the Deadly Deadly goo. And immediately I'm starting to think that this fizzler is going to be the pain in the ass fizzler. It's feeling like one of those chambers where this fizzler will be the bloody great big bit of something in the way type puzzle design. Uh, over there, I think that's our exit, but it appears to be open already. We've got a blue cube there that's covered in the goo, but for some reason isn't bouncing? Why is that not bouncing? Usually you can't put those down and they just bounce around like until you go mad. Uh, there's another regular cube over there. Those both appear to connect to the exit, and that one also has that panel highlighted for some reason. Uh, what else have we actually got then? Ah, well, I've just spotted the come hither light, a uh, nice little bit of level design. Those sort of lights basically tell you, hey, you, you can actually come over here, because that does look like a jump we can make. Uh, if we jump onto you, okay. Okay, yeah, nice little touch there, Sonny. Nice little touch. The uh, slight asshole clenching tremor we'll refer to that as. This takes us to this catwalk, which will probably let us get up into that office space we were looking at. And it also goes left, and the left... The left looks like a take you back to where you were kind of design. So we're going to have to loop around there at some point, probably. Uh, up in the actual office... What have we got going on in the office? We've got that lovely bit of carpet that every school I ever went to had. Gives you horrible friction burns. And we've got a button too. The button. The button does right, a cube that... Oh, I... involve trace amounts of time travel. Cool. So, word of advice. If you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Gotcha. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. <laughs> Entirely. Uh -huh. Forward and backward. So do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay. You done? Okay, will do. Uh, no time paradoxes, please. Uh, that has given us a cube over there. It also appears to have given us a blue cube, or is that the fizzler bluing it? No, that's a cube covered in the blue gel that doesn't bounce for some reason. Also, now there's science fiction sound effects happening for some reason. Uh, the cubes over there have disappeared. And I am now immediately fascinated by that cargo container over there. It's on a moving piston and it appears to be clinging. Yeah, that is a cargo container with claws clinging to a possibly actuated piston. Again, this is the kind of map where stuff might happen. Why is it sci-fi now? Is that forever or is that just in the office? Uh, let's go and get those cubes because... The... No way. <laughs> okay. Uh, for those of you who didn't spot that, that was alternate timeline me. I think we made eye contact. <laughs> Shit. Um, that's that's really cool, nice little detail. And the science fiction has stopped. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I do think we made eye contact, though, so does that mean none of this exists anymore? 
we've wiped out time forward and back. That means nobody will ever see this. And uh, ooh, I can say whatever I want and not get in trouble. <coughs> the human eye can only see 30 frames per second. There you go. Nobody will ever see that. Apart from those of you who exist in this timeline. And maybe she wasn't looking. Yeah, God knows. Uh, we can go back now and see what else has actually changed. We've got cubes to play with. And our exit has actually closed now. The interesting cargo container hasn't moved, though. This lets us get back here nice and easily. Yeah, the exit's changed. Uh, changed to close. And that panel has flipped around. Okay, so you on there. Seems like a good idea. That gets rid of the aggressive lasers. And yeah, why don't you bounce? Are you supposed to bounce? Are you just to, like, tell me this is a different kind of cube? I've never seen a cube covered in blue gel that, you know, wasn't a complete pain in the ass every time you put it down. But uh, I'm guessing that, in fact, actually means cube management to some degree. Well, let's stick you on here since you'll actually sit there. That gets rid of the fizzler as well, and we can go past the deadly, deadly lasers. Yeah, I really want to know what's going on with that. Because that is actually a cargo container with claws clinging onto a piston. Why? What do you do? Can I get to you somehow? Uh, just notice we've also got a light bridge tucked back here. That light bridge goes to a panel. Uh, we can use the panel that's around here now to go over there. Through there with an... I don't know what else to call this other than a exit wound style portal arrangement. Can I get to you somehow? Because you genuinely fascinate me right now. Can I, like, squeeze through here? What is going on with that? I mean, it looks really cool, but... I want to know why you intrigue me, cargo container with claws. Uh, we've got these two buttons here. You are half the door. You don't appear to be anything else, so I'm guessing you are, in fact, just half the door. You are also half the door, but you're also this panel. There's a nice little design touch. Yeah, that just clinging on there like it's snapped off. Tiny, tiny little detail, but I really do like the uh, level of detail and effort that portal map creators go to. It's really nice to see. And again, Valve should be paying attention, for, you know, when they eventually count to three. Um, so, cubes here, right? Two cubes over here. One on you, one on the one that does nothing but half the door. And that should be that, but uh, it's probably not that simple because it never, ever is. So, first thing to try, let's get... Um, well, what does that option give me then? Because if we get a cube on you, we get you, which means I could have a light bridge go back to that side. But that is the side of the deadly, deadly lasers. That puts them back on. So I'm thinking swap the cubes. Since we have two cubes and you came down specifically that side and you specifically came down this side. So I'm going to swap you because that seems like the thing to do right now. Let's take you off of there, put you there, and place you upon there. I have now swapped the cubes. Was there any reason to do that? I can actually just take you straight over, right? I can take this one straight over to the other side and get that panel to swing back round. If we put you on there, we get you back. That means we could put orange on you. And we then have the option of going to the other side of the deadly, deadly, very aggressive looking lasers. But I don't know why. To turn them off, we're going to have a cube on you. So, we might go around, but we don't want to go around. We want both cubes over there. So, to get you, let's try and get that cube. Uh, can I... Is there space this side? Can I see around to... Yes, okay, cool. Uh, we can do you, and that lets us get straight back across Exit Wound style. I don't know why that suddenly means Exit Wound to me. <laughs> Never mind. Um, Alright, so both cubes over here. That shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, I say that, but there's a puzzle in here involving that, so, you know, not that easy. Uh, let's get rid of... Well, I can't go either way. We could put you that side without touching. But then when I go through here, no more portals. That's not a jump anyone can make, is it? No. Uh, was there a way around from the other side of the office? Yeah, I like that. I like that little asshole clench shake there. 
There's no way around here, is there? No, okay, so not that. Uh, no, that's just an option of goo. Okay, so this is going to be one of those puzzles where it's a lot more complicated than it looks. Or is it? And I'm just being oblivious, because that, that does happen. We all know that. Um, I don't like this. I want... Can I get that cube back now without frying? Or have I screwed this? Can I grab you? Yeah, okay, cool. You can go sit back on here. Because that fizzler is the giant problem in the way. Uh, I now can't get back around to the other side of you, though, can I? So I actually need to get that cube back. I can't get that cube back, can I? Can I get that cube back somehow? I have to go back up in the office and hit the button again, I think. Yeah, okay, let's get both the cubes back here and reassess everything. Yeah, I know it's not going to crumble, but every time, slight clench. Press U again, I assume we get new cubes. Do we get any more time paradox notifications? No, just two fresh cubes. Okay, let's go sort those out. There's definitely something to do with swapping which one's which side. So you sit on you to get rid of deadly lasers. You who does not bounce for unknown reasons sit upon there. And then we can go back over here and get the light bridge again. So let's grab you and go back to this one. So then should I swap you now? Should I take you? Oh, who? Who respawns themselves? Are you self-respawning? That one stayed, and a new one of you. Interesting. Okay, and if we put you back on there, and I lob you into the goo, do I get a new one? I do, and you've remained. Okay, okay, there's a... That's probably very, very important. Um, let's take... Who do we take first, then? We take you, we put you on, and now you've got to respawn this side, you respawn that side. Why don't we take you, oh we need that panel the other side then, don't you? So you actually go on here, I think. You come do the panel over the other side of the room. And you can sit on there, where you do not bounce. It's very, very cooperative of you. Uh, then we need you to go back there, I think. But I need a cube there again. So can I just go get you now? I can't just take that straight across. And if I put you the other side of... What if I respawn you that side? You'll give me a new one. And that'll turn my portals off, but then I can't get to reactivate light bridge access. Okay, so I haven't thought this through. I might have screwed this up again because I think I need that cube over here again. So would that mean take this one over there and leave that one... ...that side? Well, everything's off. If everything deadly is off, I can get over that side. Because we can do... ...you, uh, you, and you. Y you thank you. So then I just want to, I just want to get that cube there, right? So I can just go grab that cube now, can't I? And then that's both cubes on both buttons. I think that's actually it. Okay, so a puzzle that I've probably seriously overcomplicated once again. Is anything bad going to happen now? No, you, you should all be fine, right? We don't have to worry about the very, very deadly looking lasers. You can come and you can sit on this button. That is our exit, and it does nothing to do with the very, very intriguing clawed container. 
That is our exit, right? That looks like it'll take us up to where alternate timeline me went. Yeah, what's going on with this, though? Sonny, if this doesn't do anything, then you are just a massive tease. Can I can I quick save a second and see if I can get out there? Just just in case. Can I like squeeze? I know this isn't a squeezing type of game, but just in case. Come on, I've been playing Cyberpunk lately and I can literally bodge my way into practically every gap on that game. No? Okay, fine. I got a feeling that's just a massive, massive portal tease. Okay, fine, fine. I'll deal with that. Um, I guess that is actually the exit then. Yeah, that's quite a nice simple little puzzle that you can very easily overcomplicate. Which I accidentally stumbled onto the solution to. Which is uh, pretty much my usual way of completing this type of puzzle. Uh, this does take us up to the exit where alternate timeline we was. We was, yep, that's how English works. Thank you, brain. And um, I gotta say, I love that. That was a brilliant, brilliant little detail, seeing alternate timeline you having already completed the puzzle and exit. Really nice detail, and uh, once again, fantastic looking map. Sunny OST is clearly very skilled with ye old hammer work. Uh, this is, is actually the exit, I believe. Looks like it. So uh, that was Wife Material by Sunny OST. So a very, very big thank you to Sunny OST. If you would like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please go ahead and recommend it via the usual means. The more unique, wonderful, and time paradox creating, the better. So until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, thank you very much for watching. And uh, just before we go, for the one person watching who may be thinking it, no, your real doll does not count as Wife Material. I don't care if you've taped an Amazon Alexa to it. She's not real, okay? I'm sorry, but somebody had to say it. Oh, right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. Oh, cool! We just completed the little time loop. Awesome attention to detail. We're paradox free. So do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business.